Welcome to my educational video on knee arthroscopy with lateral release and chondroplasty. Clearly we can see that there is some chondrosis which is roughening of the cartilage of the patella or kneecap as well as the femur or thigh bone. The shaver is placed into the knee and the rough edges are smoothed down to remove any loose debris so as to eliminate a potential site for loose bodies as well as to reduce pain. This particular procedure is called a chondroplasty and is very effective for smoothing out rough cartilage. Unfortunately, it cannot repair damaged cartilage. In this situation, this type of cartilage damage is the result of a lateral patellar compression syndrome, where there is significant roughening of the cartilage on the kneecap as well as on the thigh bone. This is often caused by a tight lateral retinaculum. This particular condition responds well to an arthroscopic lateral release. The arthroscopic wand is then inserted into the knee after the boundaries of the kneecap have been identified. The synovium is removed first, followed by releasing the tight retinaculum, which is a fibrous layer of tissue that holds the kneecap in place. In this situation, it is too tight and can be released. Once it is released, the kneecap can glide smoothly through the center of the knee. The tissue is quite thick and may take some time for it to be completely released. The release is stopped when I reach the top of the kneecap where the muscle first appears. I can tell when that occurs because this tissue starts to jump as I touch it with the vaporizing wand. I release as far towards the shin bone as I can safely see. I can tell when the tough tissue is released when it spreads open and I can see a color change signifying the underside of the skin. Because this tissue has a very large blood supply and bleeding is a significant complication, I release the tourniquet and identify any large bleeders. One bleeder here is clearly seen and the bleeding can be stopped with the wand. Once I am satisfied that I have completed the release and thoroughly examined the knee, I remove the arthroscope and the patient is started on the road to recovery with an aggressive physical therapy program.